Wilson. Thanks for coming in. Well, thank you for the invite, sir. I have to admit, I'm still getting used to the new look. They said to lose the mustache or lose the election. What's up? This is your man, Dre Mack. And in this video, I'm going to give you three reasons why people are still upset about the recasting of Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. With Captain America Brave New World set to hit theaters on February 14, 2025, there is a lot of people that are very excited and very happy about this movie, especially with the tease of Red Hulk at the end. So, not everybody. Say it to Chala, we need a recast. Chat would agree, and I truly believe that. Number three, timing. Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, which at the time was portrayed by William Hurt, entered the MCU in 2008's Incredible Hulk, which at the time was the United States General who was responsible for reviving the Super Soldier Project so he could create a new weapon. This is said resulted to the creation of the Hulk, Bruce Banner's alter ego. Ross tries to track Banner down, believing he is property in the United States government. He later tries the Super Soldier Project on another soldier named Emil Blonsky, which accidentally transforms him into the Abomination. By 2016, Ross has retired from the army after suffering a near-death heart attack. Now serving as the Secretary of State for the United States, he proposes the Sokovia Accords, placing the Avengers under the supervision of the United Nations, which quickly divides the team. After the public feuding between the Avengers, Ross brings Steve Rogers' team to the raft. When they get broken out, Ross deems them fugitives and seeks their arrest. In 2018, Ross speaks with James Rose via a holographic call and calls for the arrest of Rogers and his team, which quickly gets hung up on. In 2023, Ross attends Tony Stark's funeral. Now, Ross is normally portrayed as an antagonist or a main antagonist slash anti-hero, which he also believes in his actions for the greater good for his country. This is why the timing comes into question. William Hurt, who passed away in March of 2022, had an announcement to Marvel about his character being recast here. Harrison Ford is taking on the role of General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, um, and, and to see Sam Wilson and, and, and Thunderbolt Ross, which if you remember, actually threw him in prison at the end of Civil War because he violated the Sokovia Accords, there's gonna be some natural sparks there, which I think are gonna be. Now, this raised a lot of antennas, especially the ones who are looking for the recast of T'Challa, because quickly after Chadwick Boseman's death, we have an announcement here. Chadwick Boseman was an immensely talented actor and an inspirational individual who affected all of our lives professionally and personally. His portrayal of T'Challa the Black Panther is iconic and transcends any iteration of the character in any other medium from Marvel's past. And it's for that reason that we will not recast the character. Now, a lot of people in the recast T'Challa movement felt that the recast of Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross was a slight to them because they wanted the character who is the first black superhero in mainstream comics to come back and also ask the question, is Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross way more important than the portrayal of the King of Wakanda? Which brings me to number two, importance. Now, we all know how important Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross is to the MCU. And of course, we also want to see the Red Hulk on film. But the question always will be, was Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross way more important than the King of Wakanda T'Challa, the son of T'Chaka? As quickly as they said that they wasn't going to recast the character of T'Challa, it was the opposite end of the spectrum when it came to Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. Knowing that they could secure Harrison Ford, they immediately made a move to recast William Hurt, who also died of cancer. The problem of this is, is that, again, is making Black Panther 2 without his main lead more important than maybe just stopping the production altogether, not doing the film until you kind of got your bearings together, recast the character, and then make the movie that you want to do? That has always been the question when we're talking about importance. Which brings me to my number one thing, hypocrisy. 
Now, the MCU has made a beautiful tribute to Chadwick Boseman after his death in August of 2020. We've all seen it. It was absolutely gorgeous. To the mere fact that they put the real life death inside of Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which people in the recast the T'Challa movie got very pissed off about. Why? Because why would you actually use the death of Chadwick Boseman in your fictional movie, which this clip from E-Man from E-Man's movie review talks to Nate more about. Can you can you talk about the decision to use the real life tragedy and impose it on the fictional character of T'Challa? Because while it can be cathartic for some, it can also be triggering to relive that sure. pain again. So sure. Can you talk about the decision to go? Yeah, with I that? mean, it was look, uh, Chadwick's passing uh, uh, was was shocking to us all and and hit us all a bit differently. But but he. I can't say this enough, like he was such an impressive person beyond the performer mm -hmm. um, and had relationships with all the cast and Ryan and myself who, who got to know him through Civil War and, and, and you, you, have, you have the very real conversations of should we even make a movie? <laughs> Right, right, right. right, right. Um, certainly, not all movies need sequels. There's been amazing movies that Facts. are one and done. Um, uh, um, and those were conversations that we had. Uh, and Disney at no point said you have to make a sequel. They said we'll do whatever you feel is right. Oh. Um, uh, uh, and then you start to think about, and and no one can really know, right? But I go, oh, I I think. Chad would have wanted us to make a sequel because he knew how much Wakanda meant to people. Now also, in the same breath, we never seen a tribute to William Hurt. Now, I don't know if it's because of his allegations towards the end of his life, which also begs the question, if you knew these allegations was going on, why didn't you recast the character initially? Just like when everything was going on with Jonathan Majors and a lot of recasting rumors was going on. That shows the hypocrisy of what's going on right now in Marvel. Why would you have a big festivity for one character and one actor, especially one who spans over more than 30 years, more than 30 different projects, and you don't say anything about him, but in the same breath, we want to bury the character of T'Challa with the actual actor, which never rarely happens in Hollywood. Now, again, that begs the question, is this hypocrisy or if I'm just busting out the lip and these three things doesn't make any sense, make sure that you comment below and let me know how you feel. Wait a minute, you're telling me the video's over? What? Huh, okay, I guess so. If you have came to this portion of the video, thank you so very much for sticking to the end. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you never miss one of my videos. And if you really want to, you don't got to, go ahead and follow the social media links that's down below. Until next time, I'll let you guys later. Peace and Bob Hire, y'all. Y'all take care of y'all so.